Juan Matos from BMX Alex here. I wanted to do this video of something really cool that I found among my collection to share it with you guys. Uh, as you can see, it's a uh, clutch factory frame support product. What it makes it so cool is not only the fact that it's, it's been so far the only one I have been able to see or find. But it, also, it is also really cool that pretty much all the history of, of this piece is documented everywhere in the box, we see it's everything. I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you that this frame set was sold by Clutch High Performance Products to Jeans Bicycle Shop in Everett, Washington. Uh, back in 1984, I believe, it still shows the, the USPS tag, the UPS tag with the postage pay. It uh, shows about seven dollars to ship a frame from Hutch to, to Washington. Inside the box, and this is what makes it so cool. You find everything in exact same condition as if it was made yesterday. Boxes are perfect. The tape, even the tape, it looks like it was supplied yesterday. I have here a partial on the warranty card, mainly because the other side was mailed to the factory, of course, for warranty reasons. And I also have the repair cell stack which shows that was sold by to Steve Tim and uh, it just describes 189.95 for the frame plus 14.82 because it was this color the fork what deposit was made and when the balance, the balance was paid for it so just the fact to have this documentation makes it really cool within the course of my collecting, I have been able to find a few in chrome, in white, in blue. But again, it's the only time I have ever seen a red frame in candy color in NOS condition to surface to the collectors. Um, let's open it. <clears throat> I have here the fork on its original plastic bag. As you can see the fork still in perfect mint condition. It has no pitting whatsoever anywhere. The decal has some bubbling, but it's okay because of the storage. It was probably at some time kept without a uh, control environment, so they tend to bubble a little bit. But it's it's perfect. Every way around, it's just perfect. Inside the box. We have the frame, and this is the only, only the second time in about a year since I got this frame that I have taken it out of the box. I have a lot of respect for this. Uh, I'm basically scared of making anything to it. Uh, it was very valuable. It was very expensive to me, for me to acquire, and as you can see, it's also in outstanding condition. Again, some bubbling on the decals, but no pitting, no scratches, no dents, no nothing. It's like if it was made yesterday. It's gorgeous. I, I love this frame. I really like it. And uh, again, for me, it's, it's really hard to see something like this anywhere in this condition. Uh, I'm just going to set it back down and I will pack it later. I'm just going to leave it here right in front of the box so you can further appreciate on this video.
<clears throat> the other reason for making this video, uh, I wanted to document it a little bit because there is a chance that it's going to exchange hands. It's going to go probably from the BMX Addicts Museum to one of the most respectable Hodge collectors known in, in the United States which I believe is, is it's a good home for it. It'll be proper, properly displayed and uh, I'm pretty sure he'll be as stoked as I am to have something like this there. So if it happens, at least I get to see it sometime uh, on the video. Again, something really cool. Uh, uh, the shirt I'm wearing, it's a gift from my good friend in Australia, Chris. It was the issue t-shirt for the UCI World Championships in Adelaide. And I promise I will wear it someday so people could see it. So I think it's pretty cool. And there you go. I mean, you have it. Enjoy it.